What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to react to top 5. What's going on guys, your boy Black Dynamite. And today, welcome back to reactions. And today, we are going to react to top 5 moments TNA shoots at WWE. So let's jump into it. Yes. Hey, what is up guys? Today, let's look at top 5 times TNA shoots at the WWE. These yeah. wrestlers on the list references the WWE in one way or another, whether by actually insulting them or by using themselves as victims when they were in the WWE. Other than that guys, let's get right into the list. Number 5, Kazarian, or Kazarian, however they call him, I don't really care. As he's in the ring with some TNA wrestlers and Ric Flair, he goes on about how they're not some gang rookies like the Nexus in the WWE and that they're just the best at what they do. And it's funny now that the rookies that were in the so-called gang are far much ahead than they are right now. People like Bray Wyatt, Wade Barrett, Darren Young, Daniel Bryan, and etc. What's standing here before you is not some silly gang of angry rookies. What we are are four seasoned like that? vets who just happen to be the best at what we do in the entire TNA galaxy. Number four, Matt Hardy. In this moment, Matt Hardy is basically talking about his past in the WWE and saying on how the WWE is corrupted and that as hungry or pumped you are to be at the top, at the end of the day, it's not about what you want, it's about what the system wants, referencing to the WWE. You see, I became a victim of all the negative aspects of this business. And what you see in front of you is what I became. You see, at one point I was like you. I had dreams, I had aspirations, I had goals. I wanted to succeed, I was excited, excited to be in this business until I realized that it was never about what I wanted. This business is all about what the systems wanted. Number three, Bubba Ray. As Rhino was jealous of the fact yeah, that Bubba Ray was in the TNA just in Hall of Fame and he wasn't, Bubba like, sprayed some truth towards him telling him that he shouldn't blame all the And the Dudley Boys did came back WWE though. and TNA. They came back in this month. They played. They wrestled like at least like what, like ten matches. Then it didn't win a title to be like I think ten times or nine times. I don't know. But he's back though. I mean, you got a point. Number two, EC3. In this moment, the TNA wrestler EC3 now he's mentions making crackers top dogs in the WWE and how Kurt Angle has been all of them except the one standing right in front of him. From the looks of it, he's technically saying that everyone in the WWE is shit and that he's better than every single one of them, which is ironic because the only reason why he was released from the WWE was because he was shit from all of them. Beaten heartbreak kids and Texas rattlesnakes. You have beaten cerebral assassins and electrifying men. You have beaten next big things, Ayatollahs, Nature Boys, and superstars who are rated R. Kurt, you've beaten dead men and immortals and hell. Guys, you can't even see. You have beaten submission machines, phenomenal ones, charismatic enigmas, icons, and kings of mountains. But Kurt Angle, what do they all have in common? They've been beaten. I haven't. Number one. Mr. Yeah, Anderson, on. aka Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Anderson goes ham on this one. He talks yeah, about how the back, WWE though. didn't appreciate him. He said that he was soon to become a WWE world champion until someone got into the boss's head and said that he wasn't ready for it. Which you can tell by his voice that he was referring to the game Triple H. And he basically just goes on and calls him out on everything. I achieved that dream after six and a half years. I achieved that dream. I got hired over there. And you know what? At first, I had a rocket ship up my ass. I beat. 10 world champions in a very short period of time. I was destined to be the next world heavyweight champion. A little birdie got inside the boss's head, got inside the boss's ear and said, Hey, uh, I think, uh, I think Kenny might be a little too funny. Yeah, I don't think he's ready for it. So everything that brought me to the dance all this stuff that you see right here, I was told not to do. I, I was told how to walk, how to talk, how to freaking dress. Hey, I was told that I couldn't even chew gum on the way to the rink. 
because that was too hokey. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, please go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You know what? Some some superstars in this video. I don't know. I don't know. They all got a point though, because WWE turned more like PG, and they, that's what every superstar is. Why they're leaving? Because they can't do a specific thing. I, yo, I wish it was like back then, like two thousand, like what is six? Yo, that was a good time. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna catch you guys next time with another reactions. And today, I fucked up. I fucked up. And peace.